All right, Greg. Some very important information that we have to get to. The weather. Yeah, How's let's going? talk about it. Talking about those changes out there. It's going to be mm -hmm. quiet today. We'll have a slight chance for some showers and thunderstorms. Tomorrow, though, that rain and thunderstorm chance really increases across the area, and then we'll get to the cooler air that's going to settle in for the rest of the week heading into the upcoming weekend. But right now, taking you on out to Fair Park. As we look from our Fair Park Tower Camp, you can see it's nice out there this morning. Some partly cloudy skies. It's going to be on the warm side for you. 74 uh, degrees right now. Now, if today is your fair day, it's not going to be a bad day to do that. A few more clouds around today. We're looking at those temperatures when the gates open in the upper 70s, around 78 to 79. Around 3 p.m., though, it is going to be another very warm day. We'll be up around 90 by then. And this evening, we're going to wait to a little bit later on. Still going to be dry. We're talking about temperatures around 84 as we head toward 8 p.m. tonight. Won't see any showers and storms in our area until maybe very late this evening into the overnight. Better chances tomorrow. Now, those highs, they will climb into the upper 80s in our eastern, northeastern counties up along the Red River to low 90s elsewhere today. So it is going to be a warm one. But what about those rain chances? Again, stays dry today for the most part. We will see those uh, thunderstorms that Mighty L just talked about out across West Texas in the uh, Panhandle. They will try to make a run into North Texas as we get into this evening, likely weakening though. So we'll be keeping an eye on that. And I think by tomorrow morning, we'll start to see a few more showers and storms east of the Metroplex in our southeastern counties. This is around 7 a.m. getting out toward Palestine, maybe creeping up I-45 a little bit during the uh, early part of tomorrow. But then as we go through the day, those showers and storms start to increase in coverage out toward north and east and then we'll have those stronger thunderstorms along the uh, cold front. That's going to be the main event as we get into the evening. This is around 8 p.m. Strong, potentially severe thunderstorms working their way into North Texas as we head toward 8 p.m. tomorrow and you see how widespread it will be across the area and then here comes the front finally moving in as we get into early on Thursday. We'll still see some showers and storms around that pushes on through. So I think the rain will come to an end during the day on Thursday and that will usher in the cooler air across North Texas. So there's that marginal risk for those strong and severe thunderstorms right now. That slight risk well north and west of our area there and damaging winds and hail will be the uh, main concerns with that severe weather threat, along with some locally heavy rain. And you see how widespread that coverage will be, especially Wednesday night going into Thursday. The weekend should be dry, but we're talking about one to two inches out to our west, maybe even upwards of two to three inches elsewhere across our area. So flooding could become a concern in some places with uh, some locally heavy rain expected with this event. So we'll be keeping an eye on that as for you as well. But here's that extended forecast for you as we go through the rest of this week. By Friday, look at those temperatures, upper 70s for daytime highs, and it is going to be a beautiful fall weekend. Mid upper 50s for those overnight lows. Daytime highs in the mid 70s on Saturday and Sunday. And we're going to keep it in the 70s even as we start off next week. But then it starts to warm back up getting into the mid 80s with more rain chances again late next week heading into the following weekend.